What's up, guys? Welcome to EPMU channel. And my name is Ejizi, I'm actually a musician, producer, and a songwriter. I will show you guys how to connect your digital keyboard to a FL Studio so that it will be actually transmitting what you are actually placing on your keyboards. Okay, so but before we proceed, um, make sure you check out these my channels. Okay, this is my main page. Understand where I actually do my music and every other of my lifestyle. And this very page is where I actually do some of the things like keyboard tips, music tips, and uh, FL Studio music production tips as well. To make an announcement at the end of this video, okay, make sure you stick to the end of this video so that you will note what I'm about to say or what the announcements are about. So without wasting much of our time, let's jump in into the video first and foremost i would like to let you guys know that connecting digital keyboard to fl studio being it 2018 21 or uh, maybe the current new version that was just released is pretty easy okay but you need to get some things very well okay you don't need to make mistakes and you don't need to attract because of ignorance it will stress you because if you don't know about this it will stress you these are actually the wire I used to use before. Okay, I bought this wire. I understand with a keyboard. I have a keyboard that is actually lower than this version. This is actually PSL three four three. Understand? I have used to have two o one something like that. Okay, and uh, this is the mid wire where I actually used. Understand? But this happened that it doesn't transmit sound very well okay once you are pressing some keys it will not be coming out understand or maybe if you are pressing it will be hanging this is actually a problem for this very mid wire understand it happens that some of this mid wire doesn't actually work very well understand i don't know where the issue is coming from is it from the company or maybe from the dealers so my suggestion is that whenever you want to buy this wire if your keyboard actually has this type you have to make sure that you go with the keyboard so that you will text and verify that the wire is actually working so that if you're having any difficulties you'll be able to know how to fix it so that's the first thing but if you have a new modern keyboard that actually have a fire force connection usb port you don't need to bother because that one actually work perfectly okay let me show you guys how i try to connect this so that it will be very easy as you can see this is the back and um, this back of my keyboard okay so what you need to do is that this is actually the usb port that actually go direct to system and as you can see i'm using my laptop i'm not using a desktop so you need to understand that then this is the jack to jack understand this is jack to jack um, cable this one goes to your interface as you can see i'm pressing these keys it's actually striking at this my input this is where the input of the keyboard goes understand? it's striking but it's not making any noise in the speaker understand that because there are some things that we need to actually make sure that it's right okay this is focus right that's solo gen you make sure that this gain is on this gain knob have to be on okay then you kind of raise it and strike it it's not making noise yet okay let's go to the settings in the fl studio and find out you need to go to the mid settings open it you see digital keyboard here this is the digital keyboard this digital keyboard is what you need to click and click it here to understand okay let's see it's not working yet but make sure that this very knob is enabled understand because if you disable it you find out that this place is not actually working understand you find out that this um we have actually isolated this very genetic controller which is this thing you have to enable it so that this thing will be on okay that's the thing you need to do so the next place you need to check is go and to your mix go to your mixer and uh, 
go to mix master the input that we are using is actually input 2 so you make sure you click it okay let's see if it's on as you can see the keyboard is actually on now this is actually easy way to connect it understand so let me know guys if you have any question just make sure you comment down below and if you like this kind of exercises maybe anything about um fl studio or maybe how to make beats or how to miss a master understand make sure you follow this channel because this is a channel i actually made for actually creating my music and showing you guys the behind the scenes of how everything works how to make beats Maybe. so don't forget to smash the like button and make sure you follow this channel i would really appreciate it. okay i mentioned that i wanted to make an announcement at the end of the video okay the announcement is just a simple one i have decided to be giving out bits understand every month to my followers and my supporters understand so all you need to do is make sure that you stay active i have not actually draft out the qualification for you to get the beat if you happen to get the beats and you're not a music producer or maybe you're not a, a singer or anything you can actually say the beat understand the like cheapest beat is 30,000 now even if it's one minute or cover understand 30 understand I can actually give you free if I know you but as a business the cheapest is 30 you go as far as 100k 200k depending so you make sure you stick around and make sure you know when I actually draft out the criteria for winning those beats every month. So you have a lot to gain. So that's it for now. And uh, I love you guys.